Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly can hear and welcome, welcome, welcome to Frostpunk 2. Technically, this is our second stream. Some people are going to be like, what? How could that be? Well, yesterday, I did do a random bonus stream. Partially, because, yeah, Frostpunk 2 was available yesterday, although I had planned to do it as a YouTube video. Um, but various life events had basically thrown me off schedule, uh, preventing me from making YouTube videos in the appropriate amount of time, and also just leaving me with a sort of energy that uh, was more appropriate to the the fun and chaos of a Twitch stream rather than a YouTube video. Um, we don't have to talk about that. My leg and arm are still very sore from all the, the rabies vaccines. So hopefully everything's going to keep working out over there. <laughs> anyway, um, so we did start. If you did miss the stream yesterday, don't worry about it. We are just starting out. Uh, mostly it took us a couple of whacks at the tutorial. Turns out the prologue was surprisingly tricky. Uh, so we basically just started chapter one over here, the story. And uh, we're eager to see what's coming up. Yeah, no, CK3 DLCs come out, Factorio expansions. I know it's, everything is crazy. Everything's crazy this month, and I think it's going to stay crazy until the end of the year, um, which is typically the case. The end of the year uh, for gaming is always a little bit busy. And, you know, I think there's a you know a bit of a rush for the holiday period and things, or I I don't know people trying to get out their products for the end of the year. So we'll see. I am I'm a little worn. I just got out of the shower a few minutes ago, basically. So I am still damp and warm. Which I think is actually the perfect mood to go into playing Frostpunk. Maybe we'll we'll chill out playing this. Uh, Quill seems pale more than usual. Actually, my lighting is a little bit wacky, and hopefully the sound is better today. Um, I had a Windows update over the weekend, and it resulted in our sound settings being a little bit off than uh, than usual. Bring that down over here. Tweak the white balance a little bit. There you go. Something that like, man, it's not, it's not, not quite right, but we'll, we'll pretend that it's good enough. Um, and so I've had to readjust all my, all my settings, all my compressors, all my limiters and things like that. Uh, it, it, I don't know why it's different, but it's slightly different, which isn't great. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no more bat bites, no. And my uh, the the bat from the cottage has now been captured and has been shipped off to uh, public health for uh, analysis. We'll just leave it at that. Poor bat. Feel bad for the thing, too, but there we go. Um, yeah, so welcome to New London, Mark II. Uh, Mark II is in, from the expansion. Uh, we've currently got a population of 12,000. The scale of Frostpunk 2 is very different, much more macro than Frostpunk 1, um, which has some pros, has some cons, but it's certainly very interesting. We just recently busted into a larger area. Now, we are operating this mine. I think this mine is tying up 10 of our Frostland teams, our, our sort of scouts. Um, yeah, abandoned mine outposts. I think they're running it there. So we only have five, which isn't actually enough to do a lot of things. So I think what we need is a second logistics place. So that's one thing to consider. We also have a few things that we're running a deficit on. We still have some food stockpiled, but once that runs out, it's gonna be pretty bad. We need some housing. We also need some more materials, which partially doesn't help that we have recently started um, a, a manufacturing industry, which also consumes some materials, which are then gonna produce some goods. But we have some things that are being, um, that are being constructed over here. So hopefully that'll help. Of course, we're entering a colder season right now too, so that's not gonna help. Actually, we've got tons of coal. That's not a problem, so that's good. Heard another streamer call it also personal. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably fair. We still have this gold find a permanent source of fuel. So the coal mine out there is gonna help, but it isn't it isn't permanent, although it does add a lot to our total. And yeah, these resources are about to deplete as well, which isn't gonna help our situation. Um there were a few things about the user interface that I was kinda meh about yesterday. We'll see how I feel about them today. I mean, there were also a couple of glitches, which are not unheard of. A couple of incorrect tool tips, uh, things doing weird things that way. Uh, some of the some of the complaints just has to do with sort of like the depletion of these zones. Like they are depleting here, but if you're not looking straight at it, you don't get a note, you don't get a warning. Um, even when they turn, like when they completely deplete, 
these guys will turn red. But again, if they're not on your screen for some reason, you won't see it. You might not realize right away that you've got a problem brewing. Mm -hmm. You're part of the Frostlander party. And in theory, a Twitch integration hopefully might work today. The, the, the overlay is up, but it hasn't necessarily received any data yet. We'll see what happens when the first vote comes up to see anything changes over there. So yeah, all right, this just got built. We've got our extraction district over here, which is providing us with more material, although it still has a shortage. I don't believe I have a building that can be added to that. Now we can do another dust coal mine in places, um, which we don't need right now because our coal rate is sufficient. Although once this expires and that will no longer be the case, we got some workers. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way towards one of the other logistics points on the edge of the map, like this one over here. And I think we've got another one there because I think we need more logistics teams. Also, we'll go and do this because that'll open up that coal seam at the same time because we're not going to be able to get out here in one dig regardless. We would need two more. So even if I did this one, we would have come out short. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Frost break our way here. And yeah, we'll get a little bit more of our frost lines teams ready to go. Oh, we are indeed not researching, partially because we had run out of uh, resources. Oh, we can do advanced coal mines, food energy efficiency, crop selection. Oh, less heat demanded by heat districts. Advanced coal shafts. Or advanced blasting coal mines. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to exit out completely. Geothermal. Okay, we don't have steam. We don't have oil. We need 75 oil, which we don't have. Heat dispatcher. Constructed in these districts, food, extraction, industrial, logistics, housing. Heat dispatching control center where engineering teams monitor and optimize district heating. Boost in generators output. Okay, so it gives us more heat. This one would give you even much more, but increase scholar. Okay, so those are interesting ideas. Why is there an up arrow on housing installation? Solution is fully researched. Research this idea will provide a passive bonus. Oh! So we could constantly research this. Base heat demand of housing district is decreased? No. No, I think it's just running. Okay. Um, resources. Sawmills. This will get us more material. Yeah. Okay. We could probably use an upgrade for our extraction districts for materials. That actually seems like a decent idea right now. So untreated sawmill, this is a Frostlander idea uh, and only for them. Massive sawmill in which frozen wood is cut into usable materials without undergoing any treatment, speeding up the process, but exposing people to mold spores and fungi. Well, that doesn't seem great. So disease increase, more heat demand, bunch of material. The alternative that is supported by both New Londoners and the stalwarts is a mechanized sawmill. I like the sound of it. Less workforce requirement, more material, generates more squalor, which we were wondering if it might be easier to deal with than disease. It does generate a lot more heat demand. And that's not nothing. But I think I like this idea. Plus, we've mostly been going with ideas that the Frostlanders support. So I'd kind of like the idea of flipping over here. Plus, um, the uh, the New Londoners are the biggest faction in their city. Plus, it's supported by the Stalwarts as well. So I think I really like this idea. Let's do this. And then, yeah, we're waiting for this frost breaking to finish. 111 months. Oh, yeah, we got to do the subs and resubs. A few more sick people. Slightly increased coal dust mines. It's significantly increased by the cold. Yeah, we still need some housing. Can I build another housing district right now? I can. Okay, let's do it. And we'll go for a little bit more adjacency over here. I won't go over the food. Although we might be, and we may end up making a food place over there because they'll get an adjacency bonus. Stockpiles depleted. Stockpiles of materials. Captain has gathered, run out. After so many years of resources in the pit are growing barren, current output will satisfy some of the demand, but the problem will mount over time. We must search for new deposits, otherwise the city and us will suffer. Okay, well, we are working on it. We actually do have the material place, and we've got a building that we're researching to do it. Uh, I guess if I can do another excavation. You know what? We've got some material over here. Let's get ready for another spot for material as well. Yeah, we're still waiting for this frost breaking to be done so we can get another expedition or logistics outpost, I guess they call it. Boom, boom. And then 
Out of that side of that, I don't know. We'll just widen this and maybe we set up more adjacency stuff or something like that. Okay. New frost breaks, new housing district, negatives across the board. We also need the food increase. Maybe we should get a food tech next. I don't know. It's nice that the coal is still positive, although one, as soon as this runs out, we might have an issue, but I think we can build another coal dust mine in a second. Ruby King, 27, Apothecary, daring to dream. For years, suggesting anything against the captain meant close scrutiny from the stalwarts. But despite the bullshit booming from their bloody speakers, we managed to find our own way. Kept to our principles, stayed frugal, put family first, watch out for our neighbors, continued our traditions. Now we have a council. Maybe it's time for us to stop dreaming and make a change. The council has inspired people to suggest new ideas about the city's future. Oh, maybe we unlock some new techs. Officially recognized by the city. We have a new group. Pilgrims. Well, howdy, Pilgrim. 548 Frostlanders have organized in a faction. These pilgrims form a resilient, spirited community held together by the bonds of tradition. They dislike city development effort, paid essentials, and mandatory schools. They are manifest. Adaptation. Degenerators. Monument. Arrogance. We must cast it off, adapt, and become free. Equality. Individuals should give to the whole all they can and take from it only what they need. Tradition. We must tread well-worn paths or risk plunging into the abyss. Uh-huh. Unlock, deploy guides, community action, experience pilgrims, deep knowledge of the frost will guide stock uh, scout teams. Good relations perks, scout volunteers provides frostland teams. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they don't like anything you've already done. Good, we've got some reactionaries. That's exactly what every society hopes to get. Oh, there we go, negative coal. So yeah, this has no access to resources anymore. And I don't think we've got any just sort of loose... Yeah, not coal anyway. So I think this thing can be trashed and recycled. Giving us some of the heat stamps and some of the prefabs back. It's a good place for housing, actually, because it's nice and sheltered. So I think we go ahead and demolish this. Then when the frost breaking finishes over here, which I don't know if we need to do that. Okay, this frost breaking is finished which is for a extraction district giving us material. Boom. Yeah, we had some coal stockpiled, but it is gonna start to run low. Okay, now we're waiting for some heat stamps slash scraps, which is something we have an income for. Yeah, infinite material. I mean, we'll be we'll be picking that up as well, right over there. But we want to carry it, cover as many material places as possible. We'll do another batch there, and it'll be okay. We're producing this, you can also produce prefabs. So far, that hasn't been needed. Mm. Oh, I can build the logistics, which I do want to do because I want to continue our Frostlands expeditions. I'm gonna build this long so we can set up more, maybe something adjacent to it later. Yeah, a couple of things are giving us negative heat stamps. So, uh, mandatory schools cost us heat stamps. Also, there's an unmet demand for goods, which is correct. Although that's not really gonna be alleviated until we get more materials coming in because we need to solve this first because that's part of what our industrial building is making use of. I wonder if we could, yeah, could we have just expanded the original expedition district? It's a good question. But there's also another point over here, so what the heck. Big negative coal. That's a coal mine. Yeah, let's get one of those built. Promoting adaptation. Did I make you happy now? Can we get a breakdown? I can make promises. The pilgrims welcome anyone willing to learn heat suit layering and sewing methods. Hmm. Build, 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 build. Uh, housing still slightly short. I might just build a new housing district over here. I don't know. We can also work on the on expanding one of these existing ones. Oh no, it's not X. It's okay, that one's already capped out. That one's capped out. It'd be nice if there was a clear indicator of what level these were at ahead of time. Well, that's the same one. Okay. This one here isn't capped. 
Wait, and what is this one? Yeah, but I might want to do some food here. Oh, and that one is cap. Okay, this one here is definitely not. Yeah, I think we'll end up building a food district right there. So just expand this one a little. It'll give us a building slot there. Where we might... We could do a second research thing, although I'm not sure we need to do that. Materials are now positive. Nice. Okay, that's... That's big. Goods are still currently negative. I don't We don't have a building for this, currently. I mean, it's still offsetting some of the, uh... The unfulfillment. And this can't be expanded. Oh, because we don't have the heat stamps, although we're about to. Yeah, coal is still negative. Our stockpile is definitely going down. I think um, this coal plant here... Okay, when we get the heat stamps, we'll actually expand this coal. There we go, right now. To cover those two spots. Yeah, there's no adjacency bonus, unfortunately. just want to back up one slot. Oh, or I locked it in. Never mind. I guess that's fine, too. Um, we don't have anywhere else for a coal mine, huh? Well, we don't have the material. Well, we don't have the workers either right now, which is a whole nother thing. Mechanized sawmill. New building proposed. Okay. That'll also help with our material shortages. Um, yeah. Oh, and then we can do charcoal plants. Oh, okay. But yeah, I don't have anything to build anything right now. Still slightly negative housing, but they might have to deal with it. We're about to run out of food. Okay, new scouts are now built. Yes, thank you. Okay, that was more people. Um. Yeah, I think I might still wait for the other one here. Let's launch an expedition to this new area. Because there were specific points. We'll probably have to check these others. I'm hoping that some of these might have permanent whatevers. A required twenty, and it's dangerous. Ooh, many scouts will be injured. I mean, we're probably we're gonna have to go there at some point. But dang. Now, Sinkfield, thirty-eight housewife, worried about a son looking for a culprit. It's not someone else lost to the mine, is it? <laughs> Little Joey's been coughing all night. His forehead's as hot as the generator. It's them Turners. I know it's them. They got that new flu. And here they are, strolling about the neighborhood, carrying on with their business. They're killing people. That's what they're doing. Oh, please, Lord Almighty, I can't stand to lose another child. Someone's got to get through to them. The lack of law regulating contagion prevention is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Yeah, okay, actually, we could pass another law right now. It's not a bad idea. I think we're going to support... Needs more shelter. Infectious badge. I don't know what we're... Technically, this one's got a little bit more support, but it's pretty even. Can't believe how much housing we've got to build. Like, there's never enough, and this is going to add more. But I can build it in that crevice where our coal mine used to be. On the graves of all the children buried by the avalanche. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's do some negotiations. So, New Londoners... Again, biggest faction over here. If I want to vote for them to vote for, you want me to research the blast foundry for iron ore. Advanced chemical hothouse. This would help our food. Advanced blasting coal mine. The problem with this is we're still just going to run out of coal in these places. I mean, I guess it's the same everywhere. Um... Hmm. I think I want to do the advanced chemical hothouse. Agree to their terms. We can go ahead and do the vote now. And it easily passes. The proposed law. Never enough housing sounds political. I know, it's housing prices are just going to become incredibly inflated. And uh, anyone who didn't buy their house before the year 2005-ish, just screwed. Take screwed forever. A new rule enters into force. I'm not following anyone down this path. I refuse, says the pilgrim. All right.
Um, advanced houses. We need more heat stamps for that, but that's the one we did promise to pass. Okay, and yeah, this thing is out of resources. I mean, maybe you're supposed to keep these and you can still build buildings in them, but I can't imagine that being the case. I don't know, man. We still have 10 dudes boot in a boot. Van and shelters. Yeah, that's just an old reminder. The gorge needs 20. Yeah, I guess, I guess we just wait then. All right. You can see I keep trying to hit escape to get out of that kind of map view. And let me just check. Like, we don't have another spot I can... Oh, I can. Let's put... Oh, yeah, because this has room for two buildings. So we'll put down a second one. Okay, warmer season. Heat demand decrease. Oh, actually, so now we're ahead on coal. But I guess I'll still build this because we can still stockpile it. That's okay. Although that cost me some of the heat stamps, but it's fine. There's going to be another cold period over here. And shut down your expeditions or reduce activity to save resources. Oh, that's true. I could lower this meter down. There you go. So now we only have one to spare. Freeze up a little bit of workforce potentially as well. I mean, I'm still mostly limited by the heat stamps. There you go, 298. So this is the dust mine. The one, the 115 was just because of the uh, the temperature change. All right. Okay, we got the stamps. I'm gonna go for the promise for the advanced chemical hothouse. All works agree. Basic chemical hothouse, where experimental compounds are used to maximize crop growth. Yep. Sure. Well, that's a hundred. The 100 heat caps. Wow. That is costly. But we'll fulfill the promise, and it will help with the fact that we are now running out of food. We've got 11 weeks worth of food left. Go, go, research. Please dispatch gift boxes to the steward by post to avoid... And then when we get some things, we'll probably build housing, I think, down here. Okay, some sick people are returning. That's good. Cold is minor and stable. Greatly decreased efficiency, that's presumably fine. Or I don't know, maybe it's like slowing down some of these other things by having the decreased efficiency, but not particularly clear. Now we can also build just more food districts, but right now I'm thinking if we can just plant buildings on the ones we've got already, that's probably good. Yeah, you're right. I guess that's true. I could use the Star Wars, since they love me. That's a good point. Why don't we do that? Oh, some people left. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, it lowers the, their, their mood with us. I don't know if this is a temporary modifier and then it'll bounce back. Other significantly decreased by raised funds. If it, if that bounces back, if that like times out for a little while, then that's actually pretty spectacular. That's maybe something I haven't been using enough. Well, because I haven't really used it at all. Um, I don't want to do that. I mean, presumably our food situation is about to be fixed by these farms. You know what I might do is I might mine these prefabs here. I might clear up these prefabs um, because we currently don't have an industry running like infinite prefab production. So maybe we can just mine these out. It's not going to last that long with only a couple of deposits. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should also do another farm. Hold on. I think I already cleared these. Yeah, yeah, that's the black area there. Okay, that's fine then.
And we have no workforce right now. Although partially, that'll fix itself. Yeah, material's okay. I don't have to build this right now. Oh, this could still be built as well to fix the food situation. But maybe we'll just go and do the other one. And yeah, I think I could double up on research, but the cost, the workforce, these might all be limiting features. Need to find another coal mine. The children, what's left of them, yearn for the mines. Finding a building upgrade for this would be good, too. I mean, we can expand this, but we're not short on building slots for it yet. play DGEN's Idol with these days. I don't know that one. Okay, I think we can probably go to speed three. Cutthroat economy, paid essentials. Steward, now that we are charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford basic necessities. Work goes to the worthiest. If these people were passed up, it's their own damn fault. We should put in the work, or they should put in the work instead of expecting the city to solve their problems, claims one stalwart's delegate. Others are more measured and say we could provide them with a weekly allowance. If we can't offer them work, we can give them a budget. Up to them to use it wisely. How do, how are, I mean, okay, yes, some people in the city are literally not employed, but mostly we're dealing with a shortage. Um, so we can do this. Paid essentials provide less heat stamps or let them fend for themselves. They need to peel themselves up by the bootstrap, says Rudvin. Guess we're going to go and build that kind of society. Harduk's also voting for two. All right. Handouts make people helpless. This is not necessarily reflective use of Quilly Teen or Quilly Teen Industries. But it's what we're going to go for. This is bollocks, man. Work is so passe. Oh, they're they're one of the anti-work people. I see. Well, he's one, they're one of the pilgrims. Those people seem weird. Those people seem real weird. Uh, I guess we can work on another law here. Maybe we should do. Maybe we should do the forge uh, additives, which will just give us some free food for nothing. Right, without increasing disease. There's there's not a lot of support, though. Might be tricksy. What else haven't we done? Uh, something has passed here. We could pass a law to support funerals. Research speed is increased. Disease is slightly decreased. Harvesting funerals. Or new ceremonial funerals. Trust loss decreased. Let's do harvesting funerals. It is every citizen's final duty to go into the tanks. Right? Let's do this. It might pass as is. Frostlanders. Let the Frostlanders choose the next law to be voted on the council. Ooh, that's dangerous, but interesting. Or, you know what? They would like me if I just built a biowaste hothouse, which honestly, I think I'd be fine to do. Doesn't require us to research anything. Just build this, and we've already got it unlocked. Yeah, let's do this. Mandatory organ donation. Yeah. All right, let's vote. This should work. Carousel is a lie. There is no renewal. Is that from Logan's run? Wick rack? Thinking the right thing? It is? Wow, deep cut. I mean, deep cut for me. It's not like Logan's Run is unheard of, but I, I, I've only seen it once, and it was a long time ago. I'm actually shocked that I remember. All right, so just build a bioways hothouse, which honestly is not a terrible idea. Let's slap it down over here. Done. We'll fix our food shortage. So would the other building we unlocked, which I mean, or rather that we are unlocking. There we go. Before you time. Well, I mean, yes. Logan's run release date. 1976. Okay. Not much before my time. Only three years before my time. But yes. Ninety-nine. 
So we're about to explore the Frozen Bay. We'll call it, we'll rename it. We'll rename it to Michael's Bay. It's very explosive over there. And done. Okay. Frostlands decided you kept your word. Now look upon your rule more positively. Oh yeah, because we built the hothouse. Let me actually, before I assign the next job, if we were to go over here, just let me reset this to the max. I'm gonna push it to the limit. What do we got? The others! Now I've never seen Lost, but I know the others is something they, they reference in there, right? In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy Frostland gear, neatly laid side by side and left to freeze, with black oil markings over their closed eyes. A ghastly burial ritual? A map we found suggests they were heading to an old machine somewhere by the desolate coast. A machine would require a source of fuel. We should investigate. I see. Where's the desolate coast? Oh, over that way. Okay, what's the spot? A community of Frostlanders are eking out a pitiful living off moss and small fish. With no furnace, they survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder. Under thick layers of fur, they would undoubtedly prefer to live in you. I think we can take in more people. Yeah. I think we can take in more people. Oh, and oh, there's a fishing village. Now that Frostlanders are departed, we can use the village to provide fish for New London. Outpost here could increase our supply by 100 food until it's a positive 100,000 food is depleted. Yes. Okay. So it looks like it's going to lock five more teams. Five of them are busy just escorting. They'll come back. Now that does drop us below. Oh, we don't need 20. We only need 10 over here. It's safe and a possibility of oil. Let's do it. Over the years, there were sightings of nomadic people roaming the area. Even if true, it is unlikely they would have survived so long on their own without a source of fuel. All right. Let's do this. Oh yeah, and there's the two the two things running off map. Very cool. We are overproducing coal, but um, I think when this coal period hits, it'll change. And I mean, if we fill up our stockpile completely, they'll just like won't produce as much. I mean, I think the the workforce will still be tied up. Well, we could we could bring that down. Um, and yeah, we need even more housing now. That is true. But I guess it's time to go ahead and build some of that housing districts. So sheltered from the wind which only needs three for the max bonus. So then what we can do is we can keep building kind of up on this ledge over here just to make it easier to expand. I think I'll build two new housing districts. Is each one of these, oh, it's only 20 shelter. Like it's ridiculously low. But we can do that and that. That increases squalor. I might not want to do that. But same thing. Oh, and now I need even more housing. Oh, plus we did the, um, I think we did the quarantine law. Does this need to be excavated? Oh, it does. Oh, let's frost break that. But hey, we got some workers now. What do you want? Sue Miller, 12th pupil. Doing her reading assignment. The rabbit took a watch out of its w waistcoat paw kit. How come no one shanked him and took it, eh? Are rabbits even real? Gotta ask, miss. Reading's hard, but it's fun and you rarely get cut. Well, paper cuts are brutal, though. Um, Mabel whines it don't help scouts in the Frostland. And how do they read maps is what I answered that tosser. One day I'll write books myself with plenty of sword fights and no snow and vampires. Because all the best books have vampires in them. Mandatory school promises a better future for the children of the city. Oh. Maybe that would have been a negative event if I didn't have it. Pupil more like coal miner. This research is still coming. We have 20 weeks to fulfill it, which... That's going to be fine. Log houses built out of the Lincoln family. Jeez. Yeah, I feel like we're going to need an upgrade for our industry over here. Might be a next tech we look into. Still have lots of money from our taxation. Oh, um, I want to go and extract this stuff over here. Oh, we'd have to dig more for full... You know what? I think it's probably worth waiting for, actually. Oh, 
more adjacent seat. Okay, that's done frost breaking here. So housing district. We go there. Plus there. There we go. And then just fill in other random bits. Okay. Yeah, companion app's still not working. Seems not. It took, I, if I rolled to get three, I think it took a full week for that to get working on release. It's tricksy, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if we can dig all the way into here for housing. That's a good point. Stable crevice. Oh, it actually counts as extra shelter, too. Oh, my. Okay, that's quite good. Not just sheltered from the wind, but actual extra shelter. There's got to be some actual housing upgrades you could research. So we've got all these, like, building slots in here, and so far all we can do is research districts. I have to admit, so far playing this just kind of makes me want to play Frostpunk 1 again. New Londoners demands met. Oh, yeah, so we researched the thing. Trust rises. That's great. Next research. Factories. I think I want one of these. Or, hold on, or the housing. Under city, maybe? Housing block. Subsidized housing block. Construct in these districts. Food, extraction, industrial, logistics, or housing. Residential tower provided... Providing functional shelter with basic amenities to workers and their families. Oh. Okay, this is subsidized, so... It actually uses some workers to maintain it. And it costs us a buck a month, or buck a unit, you know? But it gives us some shelter. Alternatively, there's dense housing block. Which doesn't cost us money, but increases disease rate. Gives us more shelter. And then there's regular housing block. Which doesn't cost us money or raise disease, but pro provides less shelter. Interesting. Oh, we can do some youths. Liberated youths. Young adults are encouraged to experiment free from arbitrary bounds and judgment. Trust rises slightly. Unlocks the youth employment uh, program city ability. Dutiful youth. Percentage of active workers is increased. Ah, because the youth start working. And then nothing over here. Wait, what's other hubs? What is a communications hub? Broadcast stations airing public service announcement to keep citizens aligned with their city's vision. Proximity. Trust in neighboring housing districts is increased. Oh, man. Rail. Node connecting districts through elevated railway to transport cargo and boost productivity. Proximity. Efficiency in neighboring extraction, industrial, or food districts is increased. Shebus. Air transport hub. Powering docking station to transport workers, drastically reducing commute time. Workforce requirements in neighboring districts is decreased. Can get a bunch more Frostland teams. Harvesting harvester hangers. Harvesting efficiency. Percentage change to food outputs from Frostland harvesting sites. Okay. Okay, and that's all for food. Skyways. Unlock Skyway connections. It can be built on Frostland to allow transport of more resources to colonies and outposts. So this is like the better upgrade to roads. Operation time is decreased. Territory threat level is decreased. Oh. Interesting. Why would we do the scouts headquarters instead? Base of operations, staff officers analyze topographic data to chart paths and optimize logistic transports. But if you look at them, they both just say territory threat decreased. This says exploration time decreased. This says exploration time slightly decreased. Everything else seems to be identical. But presumably there actually is a difference. Unless it's just about choosing sort of which factions to kind of support. I'm still thinking what I want. 
is one of the factories. Yeah. This needs more people. It generates more disease. This one needs fewer people. It takes a little more material to... Oh, yeah. Cons oh, this actually consumes more material. Same goods output on both. Less people, more materials. Huh. Okay, and see, the ones with the up arrows are kind of nice because it's just a basic production. Base heat demand of food districts is significantly decreased. These guys don't care or don't have anything else to, to propose. We should just do this. Passive bonuses seem good. Well, yeah, we're not working any laws. I guess I could have looked at... Oh, cancels in recess. Okay. There we go. Law proposal. Yeah, there we go. That comes back. So, if they seek to pass food additives, their manifest, they seek to pass community service expedition. It would be really nice if I could click on this and go directly to this law. Community service expedition support. Oh, this would be involving changing this. Right now I have city development effort giving me uh, free prefabs. Press left alt as you hover over requirements. I mean, I can get this pop up here over what requirements? You must mean somewhere else, uh, human catapult. Right? I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. I think I want to pass this since there's no cost other than perhaps getting a negotiation. Oh, previous screen with the they want to pass. Okay. They want me to build one chemical hothouse, which honestly would be kind of okay. Or they can they can set a research direction, which also might be fine. They're fine with a couple of different coal, uh, charcoal or coal things. Oh, charcoal. Yeah, we don't have any charcoal plants, and that might be interesting for when we run low on coal. It'll consume materials. Consuming wood turning into charcoal. Tell you what, let's get the pyrolytic or promise the pyrolytic charcoal plant. Pass this. This one is a research. It's not a build, it's a research. One was a build, two were researches, the I think. Eyes have it. Okay, if I come back over here and click on one of these and alt. Previous screen with the they want to pass. I mean, all alt is doing for me is bringing down my resource bar. I can click on someone to see their profile. Click on a delegate. This doesn't seem to be doing a delegate. It seems to be doing their faction. But yeah, alt doesn't seem to be doing anything. I mean, nothing than what it does on a bunch of other screens. Your council has voted. What happens if you vote, have a vote for a law and you lose? I don't know. I'm kind of assuming it, first of all, just sort of wastes 10 weeks and then you don't get the law. Maybe it upsets someone too. I don't know, but maybe not. Program war, mandatory school. Steward, people are increasingly arguing over the curriculum taught in schools. Some think we should reduce theoretical knowledge and provide more survival training. We're filling these kids' heads with numbers and useless junk, complained an angry chapper. We ought to take them on field trips to hunt. Others argue for the exact opposite. We need to teach children how to think and come up with new solutions instead of perpetuating outdated practices, says an engineer. What do we do? 
focus on survival training. It's a harsh world out there. We need to prepare our children. Mandatory school no longer increases research speed, but provides food instead. It's interesting, actually. Concentrate on science. Children are the future, so is science. Mandatory school increases research speed even more. Or keep a balanced education, which keeps it as it is, but everyone is upset. Right now, I'm not feeling limited by research speed. Mostly the resources of the research and then the resources to build the thing that I just researched. Well, number two doesn't have a downside other than it doesn't produce food, right? Hmm. All right, people want science because of course they do, which is fair. It's not like a research is going very quickly. Prime, boy, I don't know. Hopefully some people get that reference. Crime increases with your population. More people means more troublemaker. Lack of goods also intensifies the problem. As impoverished people will commit acts out of desperation. Guard squads and satisfying demands for goods are the main ways of combating crime. You can strengthen these methods or provide new ones in the idea tree or the council. High crime, increase attention, reduce population growth. Okay. I thought hypotenuses went extinct decades ago. Go to Old West Wing. There you go. All powerful sadists got it. And if you're wondering, crime, boy, I don't know, is when I decided to kick your ass. I'm not entirely sure about the wording of that part. Okay, I think we've dug this out. Can you dig it? Boom, boom, boom. Three pips in the stable crevasse. See, and then we're sort of wasting some stable cross places. Maybe before I build, what I'm going to do is I will extend onto these ridges over here with the idea that... I wonder if I can loop around. Yeah. There we go. There. So I'm going to want to just get the, the maximum bonus, then go off the ridge, and then build another one. Almost on the money with the quote. Are the fancy light paths set by you or generating the game based on stuff for research? Uh, this is built automatically. It seems to, like, connect our various districts automatically as a visual thing. Crime in the city! Crime problem in New London continues to worsen. Scarcity of goods may drive people to act uh, acts of crime. We don't see other ways to obtain necessities. Making goods available helps ensure people don't revert to a free-for-all. If they do, watchtowers and prisons might become, nece become necessary. It's also worth examining if our laws are helping us fight crime. It may be more difficult to ensure order as the population rise. If crime runs rampant, people may be injured or killed. Tensions will grow and radicals among us will grow in popularity. We'd best ensure it not come to this. Okay. Um, so, let's see here. Right, I am still researching currently. Oh, crop selection. Did I not get... I guess I haven't gotten the factory thing here yet. Whoops. No. I guess I was maybe talking about it. This is story mode. Yeah. Yeah, we have a shortage of good. I could also just build another one of these industrial centers. But, diggy diggy hole here is done. One, two, three. Full bonuses, and then yeah, go up onto the ridge to finish and do that. Unsure whether foraged food additive is safe for consumption, consult your local scout office. I hope you guys can hear the voices. They're really funny. Doesn't come up very often. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. How's our food? Okay, we got positive food. So we're good here. Um, We are good on... Well, we have prefabs. Oh, sorry. This is, oh, right, this produces material, which we have a positive number. This produces more coal, which we have a positive number. So right now, I don't have to worry about any of these things. 
Um, I might want to move to this unlock. Or, yeah, if I upgrade these, it is possible. But I think this will give us a few more scouts and some building slots. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to excavate towards here. I'll also go ahead and pop the infinite material and do that. And then move towards this. There we go. Yeah, more goods are good. So, since I don't have a building for it right now, maybe I should just go and build another industrial district. If nothing else, I'm going to want one, I suppose. Um, I guess I should have built this in the opposite order. Oh, that's not excavated. Okay, that's fine. I can do this like that. Um, I might want one. To, I might be able to... I want to flip one later to produce prefabs. Because that is running a little low. We're getting some prefab construction over here. But I think eventually we run out and the whole thing is we've got to set up the industry for it. I think we're capped on coal, so some of these are running idle, which is fine. Nothing lost. Biowaste hothouse. Steward! Our biowaste hothouse has begun cooperating with people who forage for food additives in the Frostland. Do we have a combo? On top of their regular duties, they provide... <laughs> duty. They provide it with leaves, animal carcasses, and feces in order to enrich its compost. See? They're regular duties. This will, no doubt, increase our food output. Biowaste Hothouse produces more food thanks to forged additives. Okay, so what's going to happen is people are going to figure out all these combos that exist in the game. And we'll be optimizing around some of them. And avoiding certain bad things. Or maybe it's purely random and it's not really something we have much control over. That is entirely possible. We're going to build our other housing district over here. go and go up onto the ridge blah 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 and do that we'll actually be fully satisfied on housing see three percent research maybe i should I, all right let's build a second research spot um except that i don't have the prefabs for it let's not build a second research spot Did I? Oh, I never built... Oh, hold on. I never built the excavators over here. Ooh. Okay, cancel that. Cancel this. Oh, Desolate Coast explored. We found oil! The, a rune machine lies, lies across a crevice. Wagons spilled into the nearest nearby snow. There are clear signs that people have come and gone from the site, even storing goods here. But what amazed our scouts the most is a huge quantity of readily available oil. Is this where we played in the prologue? Kind of looks visually like it. I mean, look at... This is the prologue screenshot. Could be the source of, of oil fuel we've been searching for. What else do we have right now? Among the debris is a mangled cart. We found an old uh, navigation log. We can't wander forever. We can only get through this canyon. Then we can set up a permanent base next to the oil. Cart holds a large number of cores. We don't need the cores currently. Tanker filled with oil hangs in narrow crevice. It will be dangerous to extract that specialized equipment, which we can't do. Been sipping on Port Charlotte heavily peated 10 today. Here's some dosh towards some whiskey and possibly some chocolate. Okay, let's do this. This might be our, our big quest progression here. Um, who is that? That's Zolox. Port Charlotte heavily peated 10. I've never had that. Thank you very much. I will see if I can get the uh, local LCBO to uh, to deliver that or something. Ooh. Oil tombs. Nomads. On the broken shore lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil as it rests beside rich deposits. This is totally the prologue. Perhaps the site was a refueling station, but deep in the black pools lies rows of frozen bodies, which we done did. Uh, wrapped in shrouds and placed in the still wells, our scouts shudder at the site. These oil deposits will surely solve our fuel needs, but we have to desecrate these graves to access all of them. Yeah. Yeah, remove the bodies. Need all the fuel we can get if we are to survive. More oil deposits will become available, or we could respect the dead. Let the die lie, lie in peace. We will only access the vacant oil deposits. Nope, remove the bodies. What are we going to get? Oil zombies? Come on. Let's go. We've got an ad break coming up, so or actually running, so I'm going to take a short break while the ads are running so that no one misses anything here. Short break, BRB. I'm going to go pee. Everyone get up, stretch your legs, hydrate. We'll be right back.
We're back, baby! And since my hair started to dry from the, uh, the shower I just rushed to do before the stream, I took the opportunity to give it a brushing. Look at the mane. It's probably the last time you'll see this because I'm going to finally get my long overdue haircut. So we'll give this bad boy a trim. But there we go. Hee-hee! <laughs> All right. Ad break does seem to be over. Good, let's continue. Black gold! Oil will save the city. We need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we'll need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we settled beyond New London. Create a colony at the old dreadnought and connect it with a solid trail to New London. Only then can we supply the city. This will save the city. All right, there it is. Establish a colony, transfer at least 75 oil output. And so presumably what we need to do is just build the trail. I kind of hardly wish it would sort of auto path, but I guess, you know, at some point the game's got to exist. At some point the game has to game. Okay, and there's definitely a difference in like the roughness of the terrain here. Like, does this connect to the city? Or does it have to connect to one of my pins? Ah, uh, it does have to connect to one of the pins. All right, let's do that. I'll tie up some more workers. Oh, we're going down on material. That might be for the construction. No, I don't know. Maybe it's just going down. That's okay. We could do some buildings for it. Okay, new industrial district is up and is providing us some extra prefabs, which is good. First thing we'll do with the prefabs is build an extractor on the more prefabs. High crime. Crime notable. You never got to see Quill's ponytail? Yeah. So, I mean, I had long hair all throughout um, high school. Although it's limited. Um, actually, ooh, this is actually too long, at least in the back, for what was allowed in my high school. Uh, my high school, um, which is not an entirely common thing in Canada, was, um, well, my school was run by nuns. Literally, my high school was run by nuns. My principal at my school was a nun. Some of my teachers were nuns. Some of them were not nuns. I was like looking for a word. I mean, lay people in a sense, but I think that still implies more religiosity, although it was a Catholic school. Anyway, if your hair touched your collar, because we had a full suit, shirt, tie, blazer, even in the freaking summer with no air conditioning, because that wasn't a thing that was around and available. Um, and it was brutal. Um, and yeah, if your hair touched your collar, the vice principal, would come tell you, and if it wasn't cut by the next day, you'd be brought into the, the vice principal's office and he would cut your hair for you. Uh, so there was a limit there. And then I let it grow quite long, but then at some point I was like, I hate it, I'm sick of it. And it was, you know, back to relatively short haircuts. And this is the longest it's been in a long time. And I don't hate the look of it, but I do hate the sort of feel and maintenance. You get free haircuts, exactly. Okay, yeah, we're still capped on coal, which is fine. We've got, okay, we've got enough prefabs for a district. We also have to start some research here, but, oh. Oh no, I need 150 for these. Never mind. All right, well, let's consider some research, including possibly things that are passive. Uh, coal tech might be a thing. See, I keep wanting to click on this, but, because it's, it's the air, up arrow being lit really pulls my attention, but no, that's, that's, a, that's one that's already completed. And so, yeah, if there's anything else... Oh! Oh, we had the promise! Hold on, we gotta do the promise. Which is the pyrolytic charcoal plant. Gotta do it. Okay. Yeah, we need 150 prefabs, which is coming now. Every two-ish weeks, I go and get a number two guard all over. Well, I... Oh, there we go. I strongly considered it. I was gonna take my clippers. The longest clipper. I just just go over. And maybe one day I will, but that is not this day. All right. Extract, extract. Come down here because you can get yeah, near extractor building for some adjacency bonuses. Good, good, good. All right. Extract a few more prefabs, and this will be able to get torn down because there's not that many prefabs in this area. <laughs> Quilo Ren. <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it. What I love is that my dad, who is... In his 70s. Um, still has, like, dark, dark hair. 
It has, it has thinned out a little on top. But certainly not bald. And still has dark hair. I'm like, hmm. Although I wouldn't mind, you know, sort of silvery things. That's okay. And yeah, if it, if it starts to go completely, if we have like one of these kind of things going on, the whole thing. For sure. Well, seeing you cut Ava's hair, maybe you should let someone else do it. Yeah, well, yeah, I was pretty freaking nervous. I mean, it was fine. It just took forever to do all the passes. Turns out it's, it's hard to cut someone's hair. And I was really worried about like hurting her skin. All right, that's producing, yeah, zero prefabs right now, which is fine. Okay, let's unpause. These guys are a little cranky. We could give them a promise, but they're only 5%. 61 people recently beaten and mugged. Oh, okay. Crime. I guess our population is growing. That's part of it. Plus the good scarcity, which has been an issue for a while. Unused quarters, no contagion prevention. Steward, with disease currently under control, more and more citizens question why we keep some housing empty for potential quarantine. Makes no bloody sense. We keep maintaining these places just in case when they could make some folks happy right now. A mixed coalition of delegates agrees with the complaints and has drafted a new law which would deregulate the issue of contagion altogether. We could go to no contagion prevention again. I guess, yeah, we have no disease right now. Disease absent. Huh. Oh, we're about to get a cold period. Well, it'll be interesting to see if our coal count decreases at this point. And yeah, at some point we'll hook up some oil as well. Or maybe maybe it's a switch. Maybe the generator switches to oil. So we might not need to do it until we're done uh, with all the coal on the map, for example. Still 81 or 80 weeks now at current production. I think there's still some coal on the map that's untapped too. There we go. So this is up and running. Okay, we do need some more material. And is blocking traffic. Technicians are on their way. There we go. We'll get a mechanized sawmill built. Need the max. Oh, we have some. Uh, or we have some excavation teams available. Can I just check a new area? Needs 20. Needs 20. And some of these are dangerous. Yeah, we're going to need um, some upgrades before we go to some of these places. All right, well, let's just go and salvage these parts now, because we may as well. And yeah, come back later here. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, it leaves these little pins on here, but they don't do anything currently. Okay, I guess that's fine. I think the game went too macro. It was a good fresh take on the game. I think it's a good fresh take. It could be both, though. It could be both. Too macro and, and less personal. I mean, it's good to see fresh takes and different approaches to things. I tend... I actually often tend to like kind of a macro level. Uh, for, uh, well, that depends. Yeah, I don't know. It might... I, I don't know. I like the new legal system. The new legal system, new research system is very cool and satisfying. The resource mechanics actually okay. There we go. Cold season. Okay, no, that is definitely hitting our cold reserves hard over here. No, Google, I'm not talking to you. Stop it. Okay, my phone is like, I don't know what it thinks I'm saying that Google is like, surely, surely you want to talk to me. I keep saying no, my name's not Shirley. I like it when a game just plays itself. I have 800 hours in Vicky 3. Why? <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. Positive materials. Uh, goods limited, which I think what we need to do is build another industrial district. Well, again, or um, hold on. This research is nearly done. No, I, should, I think I should build another industrial district regardless. I've got the prefabs and I do. Oh, oh, we don't have the workforce. Never mind. We are nearly done this research. We will go and research the factory for the material. The, the, uh, what are they called? Goods. And this research is done. We don't have to build this. We just had the promise to research it. So, yeah, now what we're doing is factories. So, 
So I don't care, like the construction cost, this doesn't matter. This is like actively constructing. The workforce requirements. So we need an extra 100 workforce, but it's so much more efficient on material. There's the disease thing, and it does feel like the disease might be harder to fight than the squalor. I think I'm going to go with this one, which makes them happy. That might have been the previous research, actually, that made these guys happy. I realized, no matter where I'm putting my head, I'm blocking something at some point, so... You can't see the new Londoners behind my head. Meh, it's fine. Pre a prosthetics! Mass-produced goods. Steward, a young engineer, I brought us novel designs to mass-produce prosthetics with a minimal amount of resources. Manufactured in standard sizes, they would allow maimed workers to get back in the saddle no time, you brag. Sure, they won't be the sturdiest, but they will cost practically nothing. If one breaks, folks will quickly get another one. Should we allocate additional materials to our industry to use these designs? Mass-produce... Uh, prosthetics. Materials are a small price to pay to improve the lives of citizen efficiency of your city. Mass-produced goods increase the percentage of active workers, but increases materials demand. Increases relations with New Londoners and stalwarts, or we can pass. Materials are too essential to be committed to such a project. I think I'm going to go for it. It's got pros and cons. Right? More material demand. More workers. Let's go for it. Okay. More MPT is returned to work. I mean, sure. There we go. We got 1,200 workers available now. And yeah, I could build this, but we don't need more coal production. I mean, we've got a negative right now, but it's because of the, the terrible cold. I do have enough workers. I could go and plop this down right now. I think I will. Um, I might want to do some excavating. I like hate wasting these slots, although I guess it's kind of fine. Sure. Yeah, this increase squalor in these areas. No, you know what? We will go and make more space over here. Sure. Certainly, we're going to want it at some point. If we're worried about materials. Go. With prosthetics, anyone, anywhere, everyone can go out on a limb. There you go. Oh, yeah, I never actually unlocked this extra spot. Let's go and clear it. Overall trust is accepted. Pilgrims aren't terribly happy. Negative this. Everything else is in a positive. Housing's positive for a change. So we can keep going with our quarantine law. That's fine. Okay, that got cleared out. So let's try this again. Industrial district. One, two, three there. And then on some white bits here. Plunk. Good. Yeah, I know the road on the overland map is going to one of the other entrances instead of this one, so... I'm not sure that it would have been able to save one tick anyway. It's not going to warm up for a while. I guess I've got no more slots for these cold maps, although I could go and increase that, but I can also build a pyrolytic charcoal plant if I wanted to get more coal. It will last 26 weeks. Yeah, so that's not going to last until the warm period here. Oh, you meant it's not going to the oil place? Oh, was it just going here? See, I should have just started with this button. Because then it would have built to the right place. All right, we'll just connect it up to the same road. This... I keep trying to escape out of this view. Good, good, good. Yeah, getting the oil will help. Oops. Yeah, path over the mountain seems less optimal. Yeah. 
I don't think the roads take maintenance, so they're taking a little bit of material to build in the first place. It's not the end of the world. Okay, new research. Salvaging factory is in place. Which is good, because we're going to get the new industry, but I think we'll still want the salvaging factory as well, just to get the material numbers up. Prefabs are doing well. Of course, we're extracting some over here, but some are being built. Well, that's interesting. The factory one set the prefab mode doesn't actually have a symbol over it. Huh. But this one with the goods does. Huh. Yeah, sorry I misunderstood. I thought you were saying because the road was coming to this one instead of this one. This one. This is up. Switch to the goods mode. I guess because it assumes that the prefab mode is standard. Okay, so we still have the shortage. And then we'll have the material shortage now. We'll have to increase that. And there we go. Okay, the tech is also done. But yeah, salvaging workshop. So, oh, it produces prefabs and goods. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, we'll have to wait for a little bit more workforce over here. What do you want? Jane Fury, 43, factory worker, changing her broken prosthetic hand. Jeez, it's the second one this month. Thank God I always carry a spare and have three more at home. That new Grossmith design is a bit flimsy for my taste, but at least we no longer have to worry about prosthetic supply. Hell, the whole city could lose a hand. We'd probably still have some spare. The stump hurts, though. I ought to massage it more often. You agreed to allocate materials to the mass production of prosthetics. Okay. Should give us more workers, which we currently need right now. Yeah, minus 40 degrees. I mean, that's a standard January. Okay, no, that's pretty. That is a cold January day here where I live, but it's not unheard of. She's glad you gave her a hand. I think if they tried to make Frostpunk too- Oh my god, there's a walker on this. I think if they tried to make Frostpunk 2 just basically Frostpunk 1 again, um, I think that wouldn't have impressed people either, so it's always a tough position. You feel like you have to do something a little bit different. But then if it's different, it's no good. Yeah, look at all these walkers around here. I didn't notice those before. I guess we should probably start researching something else new. What do we do with worker shifts? Weather adjusted shifts. Protect worker health. Workplaces must adapt. Working hours to weather conditions. Production efficiency goes down. Disease is slightly decreased. Heat demand in districts other than housing is decreased. Machine centric shifts. Workforce requirement is decreased. Squalor is increased. Huh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Advanced sawmills would give us more material output. Actually, that seems like a pretty good idea. So this is advanced untreated sawmills. Or advanced mechanized sawmills. So we had previously gone with the mechanized, I think. Well, that's interesting. Can I swap from one to the other? Like, if I research untreated sawmills, does that mean I'll have both? Or that means I will have dropped mechanized? Game's looking pretty cool. Ha 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 also, let's, uh, you know what? Let's quickly do the subs and resubs because we didn't do them at the start of the stream. We got Shratz coming in 122 months. You News Army at 28 months. Caven at 70. Pax Romana at 42 months. Cassie Empire is at 81 months. Woundvors at 55. Luck Cranes at 21. Eden Stargazer 71. Zip Sirium at 111. Jones has come back for their second month of resubbing. Thank you very much. Tobes My Goat is at their two year Twitch anniversary. T Slater's at 14 months. Real Flow Mods at 11. Arrow Engine Nerd at 1. 100 months. We also got a couple of new subs. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, Wickrack gifted a sub to Vertrex. That's really nice. And uh, 27 minutes ago, Tech Priest Magos subbed using their Prime. If you do have a Prime set around, remember to use it. And again, also, this is September, so you get a discount on subscription rates. Your streamers still get the full value. It's nice. We go goods factories for even more goods. Prefab composites. Man, I don't know what to prioritize here. These are all great. You know what I think I kind of need to do? I think we need to get one of the ones that decreases threat. I'm still confused as to why 
Everything is the same, except this one only slightly decreases exploration time. I'm going to go survivalist headquarters then. Because why not? Because we're going to have to go into some more dangerous areas soon. Okay, we need we need 20 Frostlands teams to be able to do this. Um, which is slightly tricksy because of the workforce issue here. Hang on a sec. I thought these were running low on coal. Oh no, one was running low on coal and I went and trashed that, that's right. Um, I could tweak something to lower the workforce. Like, I could lower the workers in one of our places. You know, we don't have a law going. I wonder if we could use one to clear up... Why is there a little star here? Oh, because something recently unlocked. We can go back to no contagion pre prevention. Lowers tension. Disease is marginally increased. No. We could swap out a mandatory school. Put the kids to work. Get more workforce. Okay, what do what do these do? The word may provide squads well trained, well equipped guards. Put down disruptions and otherwise keep the peace. Unlocks the quell protest district ability. Ends protests. Well, I mean, we don't have anything like that going on right now. And then guided voting. Yeah, it just gives me a procedure I can run. Not an immediate change. I mean, in theory, if our city is hot, is there is there a place I can see tension specifically? Progress versus adaptation. Hmm. Equality versus merit. Reason versus tradition. The bottom bar is overall trust. Oh, tension is in the middle here. Tension is currently absent. I give the ten. Oh, I could give them some stamps. We do have some. Or I could promise them something. And there's there's such a low percentage. Only six percent of our peeps. I'm not worried about tension. I just want to know, like, a general idea where it is. I think... Is this showing the population is rising? Population growth, 17%. Population is rising steadily. As soon as population meaningfully increases, the city will prepare a census to count. Okay. Oh, does this have to progress to full? And then we'll be told that's when you get it. Doesn't It doesn't come in regularly. We get, like, a sudden numeric increase of, like, a thousand. Um, or whatever. Okay, here's what we can do. Food supply is huge right now, right? Let's pause this fishing village. That gives me 20, which gives me enough to set up the Dreadnought colony, which will advance the story. I'm sorry, are we gonna lose 3,000 colonists? So it uses a core. Okay. Well, you know what? It's it's required to advance, so let's do it. Is it happening? Did I did I do it? Yeah, I think it, I think it's happening. Uh yeah, workforce is going down. Oh, yeah. We don't have enough workers everywhere. Huh. Once that gets fully established, though, we can use this to do the um, the convince them all to come. So I think that's the plan. That's what I was thinking. I was like, well, if I establish this, then I'll have plenty. Right tools for the job. City development effort. Steward some service workers aided 
aiding our prefab production or asking for better tools. Don't make a lick of sense. We muck around with basic tools while advanced machinery sits idle waiting for operators, said one volunteer. Full-time workers are wary of the idea. It takes training to use these machines safely. Training these weekend workers just haven't... Training these work, weekend workers just haven't got, said one veteran high-torque band saw operator. Should we let these volunteers use professional equipment? This seems like a terrible idea. They will learn by... By doing and all will benefit. City development effort provides more prefabs, but may cause casualties. We can ban volunteers. I think we want to. I, I think I'm going to ban the volunteers. I actually don't need more prefabs currently. I'm worried about the casualties lowering our workforce. So, I think that's going to be that. So yeah, we have a shortage of workers currently, but in theory, that's going to resolve itself. There's our traveling expedition there. Coal shortage is still a thing as well. Okay, new tech. Oh, scout training. We'll select the fittest candidates and train them in. Elite survival skills remain adaptable. Territory threat level is decreased. Expiration time. No, I want to decrease the territory threat level. Because we want to check out some new territories. So yeah, once this is done... Resource nearly depleted. That's okay, yeah, the prefabs. That we knew wasn't going to run very long. In fact, since I have tons of prefabs right now, I won't turn this off, but I will run it on, like, minimum to free up a few more workers. So this auto-decreased over here. Okay. Well, let me increase you. Although we have enough stockpiled for now, but that seems like an okay way of doing it. There we go. So now we have a net positive and we're banking some more. Population is indeed growing. All right, I like this. The price of gruel has been reduced this week only. Actually, maybe, you know what? I'm gonna bring this down. I'm going to bring up the uh, coal production, actually. There you go. Coal is positive. Good. There you go. There we go. Excellent. And it won't be a problem once it's warmer, although it's not going to be warmer for very long. But we're about to get the permanent oil supply. Abigail Green, 29, Scout, staring at herself in the mirror. I can see. It's a little blurry, but the doctor told me it's going to keep improving. I asked to whose corneas I owe my new sight. A young lad fell from a rooftop trying to rob a hothouse. Well, I won't judge. Probably had a whole family to feed or something. When they release me, first thing I'm going to do is go and see them. I'll take some rations. Least I can do. Harvesting funerals are giving a second chance to the living. There you go. Waste not, want not. Yeah, only 14 available workers. Which is fine. Traveling expedition should progress this. Yeah, must go and see them. Exactly. Okay. Did that establish the colony? Oh, oil deposits discovered. Topics related to oil can now be researched. Check. New group has been has a presence in old dreadnought, and we've got our Frostlands teams again. Oh, New London versus old dread. Hold on, can I actually go there? It is an actual colony. Okay. And then we have to learn to transfer resources. Okay, so this is getting a little more interesting. The multi-colony thing is very neat. And unless I'm wrong, didn't exist in Frostpunk 1. I mean, there was the same map interactions, but not the same way. Yeah, is it the tutorial again? Well, step one, I mean, it's a little different. Though there's no food resources here, so presumably we're going to have to send food over here constantly. But I think step one is going to be to get to the oil because they ain't got nothing. Yeah, Frostbolt 1 had outposts, but did you control them like this? Pop these prefabs. Get to there. 
and then maybe advance towards the little ridge down here so we can get ready to go down. Food racers were consumed during the tutorial. Yeah, I guess that makes a lot of sense, actually. I'm going to wait to build until that frost breaking is done. I wonder if there was a way to not do the seals or something and leave the food resources for later. Now, um, can I do this? No. Yeah, we need, we need the, we need this to be fully set up. But yeah, we've got this countdown timer. It's definitely ticking away. But I do have enough people to go out. Although, oh, I'm, I'm still researching the thing to lower some of these risks. Although, oh, this is totally safe. So let's launch this expedition. The graveyard is also safe, and we can do that with 10. Good. Okay. Let's do both of those. Although, the other thing I could have done is lowered the efficiency of the logistics things to free up more workers, but... Visions of our future. Diverging ideas. Steward, everyone in New London is awaiting the moment we get a steady supply of oil. So many fears would vanish, so many dreams made possible. But those dreams seem to be diverging. Stalwarts paint visions of an eternally warm New London, as warm as only the eldest among us remember. But pilgrims want us to use want to use this newfound power to reach out and settle remote places on the Frostland, making our own. Both factions started thinking about how to use oil when it reaches New London. When it does, we will have to decide. Okay. Yeah, we have the new exploration building as well, but we need workers for that, which we don't currently have. Well, maybe I can build some of those over here too. Okay, that's been dug. So now, well, actually, I'm going to prioritize getting the oil up. Oh, we don't have enough tiles for that. Well, what I might have to do then is just clear more tiles in general. Around here. And I mean, this does cost heat stamps, but I guess these are, these might be global. I think these resources here might be global and these are local. Well, there's a nice sheltered area down here, right? I wonder if that was the case in the, uh, the tutorial as well. Pathfinder scouts placed in council agenda by Frostlanders. Okay. Slight positive. Everything is looking okay currently in the capital. Very good. So yeah, we'll just pay attention over here. Fast forward. Frost breaking is done. Frost breaking is done. Okay, build again. Actually, we sort of do want to get a little closer to this because we want them to benefit from these adjacency bonuses. There we go. Done and done. I'm <laughs> playing Canada Simulator. This isn't the longest dark. Although at some point we got to do a proper playthrough of that. We did try it in early access like a billion years ago. We really should give it another go. Storyline's pretty good in Longstark. I really like the vibe of it. We're about to get a population intake in New London. And as soon as the oil is set up, we should be able to invite a bunch more people as well. Scouts are that. We don't currently have the fishing village active, which is fine because we've got positive food and a full stockpile. Um, actually, that's interesting. Oh yeah, there we go. There's our food stockpile hubs, which we could be building, which does also have some of our efficiency and maybe we should plop some more of these down. We are getting more and more people. It might be important to stockpile more stuff. Um, 
start. Where are we growing food? Do not be alarmed by any unusual noises coming from the generator. Routine maintenance work is underway. There you go. I might have selected the wrong thing. I'm going to say, hey, shouldn't we get an efficiency thing here? Let me build this partially to just have huge stockpile, but also we can free up a little bit of workers. Actually, the hub itself needs some workers. sort of wasting the extra food right now, but it's barely in excess. Hmm. I don't know. You know, screw it. Let's build one. Actually, if I put it here, it'll affect both. Well, it won't. No, we need the full bonus. There you go. Okay. Let's do it so we have one. All right. Meanwhile, back over here. These are on board, which mean we should be able to kickstart the generator. There's no overdrive over there. Maybe that's something we research. But this place is now hot, hot, hot. And generating oil and full of it. There's not much stockpile available. Before I do anything else here, though, let's go and get their housing district. One, two, three for full free heat. And then we'll push it up here. That's going to be fine. This place does have positive food. Forged additive. Old Dreadnought Furnace is producing a little bit of food over here. Oh. Really? Okay. So, resource transfer. Oil. There you go, 66. And then you have to wait a while and just do another one immediately. No, this is per... This might be per tick. I think I have to stockpile more of the oil here. We're eating the old rats. <laughs> or maybe we need to produce more. Oh, yeah, because now we've got an oil deficit. Okay, no. We are transferring the, um, the generation. Talking about my g -g 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 generation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, send food back. I mean, right now we're fine. But yeah, food, material, goods, we probably won't want to produce over here. So we're probably going to want to transfer the exact amount to um, eliminate these shortages. Assuming we have enough access to the other side, which I'm not entirely convinced that we do. I wonder if there's like a shortcut. Oh, balance. Balance. Oh, yeah, baby. Cool. Well, that's convenient. Okay, um, I could cancel this for now. There you go. Break even. Council in recess? Do we just pass a vote? Or is this here? Do they have different councils? No, they don't. Uh, we don't have any research happening. Beautiful duty lowers crime. More workers lowers crime. You know what? Let's put the children to work. Oh, no one else shares this idea. It's only the pilgrims that are into it. Although only stalwarts are into this one. Oh, I missed it. A vote failed. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Uh, cold storage harvesting rituals. Stuart, some researchers and doctors are petition have petitioned us to preserve the remains of corpses that have been harvested for organs. Science knows no bounds. Incinerating harvested bodies and returning the ashes to their relatives is a waste of potential. They will, there will come a day when we get more out of these remains, they claim, advocating that we freeze them instead. People may not be happy now, but in due time they will see reason and applaud our foresight. We could freeze the remains. 
Trust falls marginally. Relations improved with stalwarts. Science progresses fast. We'll hold on to the bodies. That's interesting. I wonder if this will lead to something later on. Or we could refuse. Relations slightly improved with pilgrims. Worsens with stalwarts. I mean, it doesn't actually say that it's going to reduce the productivity of our harvesting funerals. We got lots of trust right now. Let's do it and see what happens later. Trust? Oh yeah, no, the trust. Well, we still accept it. It's fine. They desecrated their corpses already. They want to freeze what remains as well? That's yeah, fine. Uh, you have no workforce. You have no growth. Oh, can we, hold on, can we send population? Oh, we can. That's interesting. But what I could also do is just lower the extraction for prefabs a little bit. And then... Just do this to get more oil extraction. Or, oh, I bet you we could have just done a building, too. I don't know. We may as well put a deposit on the other one. Sure. Respect your fellow there we go. And then there's more material use, so we'll put the balance. And then... Send 75. Trail over capacity. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. New fuel flows. Anticipation fills the air as the first transport of oil is sent on New London. To dream of a future without feeling cold feels surreal. We'll have to do the uh, air routes. Uh, to make it happen, however, we'll need to modify the generator, turn this black gold into heat. This will be irreversible. What future we bind for ourselves will depend on it. Okay. Does that mean oil instead of coal? Because what I could do now that we've completed this step... I wonder if that's the end of chapter one. As I say, what we could do is we could... Cancel the trade route of oil. Keep burning the coal for now. We don't have that much coal left over, but we got some. Ambitions, chapter two. Our people cheer as oil reaches the city, but the question of what it means for our future remains. The years of suffering are coming to an end. Let us improve the generator further and pump oil until the snows of the city melt forever. Oh yeah, it's the stalwart versus the pilgrims thing. However, the pilgrims disagree. What stalwarts want is hubris. New London won't last forever. The frost is our reality, and we have to embrace it. Venture forth, use oil to settle new homes in the white beyond. We will defeat the frost. Stalwarts will approve the decision. Pilgrims will disapprove. Unlocks oil pumps generator upgrade that uses only oil. Unlocks ability to exploit unlimited deep deposits. Pilgrims fervors and creeps. Or will embrace the frost. Pilgrims approve. Stalwarts disapprove. Unlocks adaptive pumps generator upgrade that uses any fuel. Unlocks unlimited output Frostland settlements. The problem is I don't know how either one of these play as. We can't know. Unlimited deep deposits, unlimited Frostland settlements. Like unlimited output Frostland settlements. Honestly, I don't know if the Frost... The Frost might just be here to stay. Branching path through playability. I think we need a Twitch vote for this one. Uh, manage polls. New poll. Which path? Uh, defeat the frost. Big new London. Oh, okay, I don't have enough talk. Shit. So, so we'll just go defeat the frost versus embrace the frost. There we go. The poll should show up in the chat or however, I don't know how it looks on mobile, but you should be able to click and choose a vote. It'll run for one minute. 
Defeat the frost, the power of global warming. <laughs> uh, embrace has any fuel. Embrace is any fuel. Frost is only oil. True Northerners embrace. I mean, I think you and I know that the frost is probably here to stay, but, you know, what do the people think? It looks like Defeat the Frost is going to win. I haven't played R. I don't know much about it, Mimi. We'll definitely have to take a look, though. All right. Defeat the Frost is going to be victorious. Let's do it. Stalwarts will approve the decision. Pilgrims will disapprove. All right. Only uses oil. We first need to upgrade the generator with oil pumps that use the new fuel. Then we must research and further upgrade the generator with surplus injectors to make New London warmer than ever before. Newfound oil can help us reach previously inaccessible deep deposits, which will not run out. We may tap into them for the security of the city. Oil pumps generator upgrade is unlocked and is available to be built. Melting deep deposits and generator upgrades research are unlocked. Okay. Pause a sec. Yes, focus on the generator maker warm city. So right now... Our generator is still burning coal, which seems like it might be fine. Like, we can just keep consuming the leftover coal right now. Something's about to finish in the Frostland. I don't know what. It might be exploration. Probably exploration. Because I still want to pull these people in for the work. Now, now that the mission is done, and we don't technically need to oil right this second. Oh, hang on. This balance... Why are you bringing more? Why is the balance button leading us to plus 110 over here? Like, it's trying to swap 250 resources for plus 110. When the Dreadnought only is already running a surplus. Like, I could run here. Transfer 140. And that's going to be perfectly balanced to the Dreadnought. Maybe because they want to stockpile first? I know you're limited to 250 in and out. That's not the question I'm asking. Listen to my wordage. This balance button is to meet demands. Except if I click this button, it's not meeting the demand of the old dreadnought. It's trying to max out the amount of material imported, leading to an over surplus. What the balance button should do is set us over here. Unless there's something else going on, the balance button should lead me to this. 140 shipping this way to bring us to exactly perfectly balanced material. It's doing that for these others as well. Like, again, this, shipping 30 over, is perfect balance. Clicking this brings it over to 60. I wonder... Hold on, let me try something. If I reset these all to zero... Let me set this. I'm going to reset this. Okay, so now we have a shortage of 140. There it is. It's a bug. It's a bug. It's correctly sent it to 140. If I hit transfer, now we're perfectly balanced, right? As all things should be. If I hit this and I hit balance again, it's trying to do it twice. It's trying to set it to 280. It's not recognizing that it's already in a situation where it's meeting a demand. It's a UI glitch. Because I was just noticing 
here, it was trying to bring it up to a 60. It wasn't maxing out the meter. It was trying to bring it to 60. If I hit here, it transfers over 30. Right? And I can hit it again. It's fine. If I hit transfer resources and then pull this back in, it's going to try to set this to 60. It's trying to bring another 30 over. It's trying to do it twice. And I don't think it has... I'm unpaused. No, it still wants to do it. So the balance button works, but only when you're starting at zero. Interesting. You can also send 5,000 units in the stockpile instantly, as opposed to a rate. You can do a one-time transfer of 5,000, or you can do it as a rate over time. Well, that's definitely a bug. That just feels like a bug. It, that's definitely a bug. That, that shouldn't be the case. When you hit the balance, it should be correctly looking at the current state of things. So yeah, 100% that's a bug. But now that we've figured it out, we can work around it trivially. Hopefully they'll fix it, you know, in the first patch. But now that we know the bug and understand how it works, we can easily sidestep it. No worries. The instant transfer is kind of interesting. Anyway, so this place is great. Got a slight excess of food. That's fine. I mean, we could ship some of the food over too to the other city because this one, if this city is not going to grow and it doesn't have the little growth indicator, maybe outposts don't grow by themselves. Only the real city grows by itself which is fine. Then what I can do is I could ship like this. So we don't have a shortage of food in the capital right now, but the capital is going to grow. And then at some point we'll, we'll fix the oil up as well. Well, actually, since things are balanced here, well, they might not be balanced. It'll depend on the weather. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. That's going to be okay. Good. I'm sure the devs will figure they will notice this one because it's such an obvious glitch. Like now at this point, it's such an obvious. There's a few really obvious glitches. There were some wrong tool tips. There's this. There's some broken UI stuff in this game and also some UI stuff I would just like to see fixed. But there's some actual just bugs, which hopefully they'll know. All right. Pouring ice on fire, growing radicalization. Stuart, the growing fervor in certain groups in our city has become a cause for alarm. Agitators rile up tensions and push their factions to more radical and violent action. Provided we build enough prison space, our guards sh could place such militants in preventative arrest. A spell in detention could cool the heels and calm their fellows. Build prisons to use the Roundup Militants District ability to lower faction fervor. Yeah, ooh, this, these pilgrims, their fervor is up to weak now. Now we're getting to the political weeds. How interesting. How interesting. Need some more housing in the capital. Yes, and I do want the survivalist headquarters. We do have enough workers, which is great to see. Um, you have an empty building slot. Um, uh, lag. Oh, that was weird. Oh, there we go. Promoting adaptation, which I think they do like. But yeah, if I can stack these, well, we'll see what happens when this gets built. We'll see what the threat level looks like in some of those areas. Oh, also, hang on. Right, I can turn this back on, but here we're going to convince them all to come. And I'm going to turn this on again because that just takes the five. Oh, we can choose where these get sent to. But no, let's go to New London for now. That's fine. Excellent. Oh, collect the coal. An old coal hauling crawler, half burden stowed, appears to transport navigation devices tampered with, charts were inaccurate, graffiti has been etched on one side, new London leeches. Regardless of what happened here, the coal is ours for the taking. Let's take that, plus 50,000 coal stockpile. Uh, let's make sure we've got room for that. Yeah, we actually don't currently. I would hate for some of it to be wasted. Now, I can build. Okay, the fuel stockpiling hub is for both types of fuel. Let's go and get one of these down. There we go. Free up some workforce over here, too. We'll get that down. And then we'll take in that coal. Because we're still working on coal right now. We're still using coal, which I think is fine. 
we may as well consume it before we switch completely over to oil. I mean, we haven't even found, like, really deep unlimited coal taps yet. Yeah, there we go. Generator can run exclusively on oil, but with increased efficiency. Oil burnt and generator produce some squalor. Yeah, we will switch to this, but not right now. Scout training. Oh, uh, Pathfinder scouts. Yes, let's absolutely run this. There's more people against it than anything, which is annoying. Frostlanders. Why aren't you happy about this? Research, weather adjusted shifts. Advanced bioways hothouse. Honestly, the weather adjusted shifts were somewhat tempting. I don't like losing the efficiency, but the just general disease decrease, reduced heating is very nice. Oh, let's thank you for snoozing that, Essentia. Oh, this will convert coal to oil. And generate a little bit more net fuel for us. Okay. Okay. Good. Now I don't have to worry about the fact, like having this all this coal going to waste. We can go and convert completely. I mean, we have to research that, but that'll be our signal. And then this stockpile here is nearly done. Attention, Boom. So now we've got room. Come in here and collect that coal. What's this one over here? Possible settlement, whale mine. Multiple pods of whales froze here after being pursued by humanity's last whaling vessels into the freezing harbor. The scouts are amazed at the sight of the massive bodies made pale by the ice. Finally, I found my white whale, the scout commander jokes. No one laughs. Years ago, the captain sent a team with machines to bore through the ice and mine out the whale meat. We can take the machines back to New London to assist our extraction or send a new team here to finish the job. So I'm, I'm assuming there's a reference to a Frostpunk 1. It's been too long. So these machines will help our mines New London. 10% production efficiency. Or we could establish a whale mining outpost, build a food outpost here. We do have to, I think, set the work back to 100% manually. I think you're right, Tohawk. Oh, this is actually a tough decision. Just a permanent 10% production efficiency boost. If this is a permanent food mining site, that's also really valuable. Take it back, all must be in New London. You're right, that is kind of the tone we've chosen, right? Fine, I like it, I like that logic. Done. Okay. Tensions increased due to high crime. Also the cold a little bit. Ooh, we need some more housing. Hiram Townsend, 39, trapper, sparing a baby seal. Sorry, little one, I had to take your mother. It was her time, but you're too small for my pile now. It would be a shame to deprive you of your life for so little meat. Go on, back in the water with you. One day we'll meet again, and I'll spare your children as I fared you today. The city's made a steps towards adaptation cornerstone. That's really interesting. Even though I think the, the many decisions we've taken, well, the big decision we just take, took, I think was more progress, but a lot of the decisions have been very pro-adaptation. Oh, were we not doing our research over here? Yeah, I think we're gonna go. It's a little annoying. Oh, that's running low, whatever that is. So yeah, let's go and. Has there been a patch already that changes the camera zoom when I click on these things? I was saying, sometimes we click on these and the UI would be partially hidden off screen. But now it's panning the camera when I do this. Maybe I'm clicking in a different way. Now, we don't necessarily need all these things right now, but hardly the end of the world, and we can make some other adjustments later. Okay, over here. And we still have some workers. Yeah. 
big excess of food, but we do have more capacity for stockpile. Okay, that's all dealt with. Research is going. Law things are happening. Yeah, I don't know if there's a button to increase everyone to 100%. It might. It probably doesn't come up very much. Re optional research. Melting deep deposits. Build a deep melting drill. Yeah, switch the generator. Research and construct generator surplus injectors. So, um... Coal is going down currently. We currently don't have oil. So, we'll probably have to send more people over here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. News break. I gotta. We gotta go and end the stream in a second here. Send a few more people over to El, Old Dreadnought. Run this to the max. Although, oh, I guess it takes a while for them to get here. Um, although I guess I don't really need more prefabs. What we need is more oil. Yeah, I'll have to run the worker. Two hundred workforce. People transfer finished. Is it? Resource transfer, transferring 50,000 coal. Resource transfer, transferring nothing. People transfer, oh, there we go, five weeks, there we go. They'll arrive over here. Maybe I should have done more. Yeah, I think that choice at the end of the chapter was a big one and there'll be replayability at least there. And if there's a big choice like that at the end of every chapter, there can be compounding replayability. I just say one, is that? Oh, ready to explore the graveyard. Um, there, uh, one of the things I've talked about before, it'd be nice on the UI if these would send me places. Beautiful youth, Lenuel Opera proposed by the Pilgrims. I, think that, I thought that was already available. Oh, maybe I made an alternate choice at some point. Tanker filled with oil hangs in narrow crevice. It would be dangerous to extract without specialized equipment. We can send regular workers. Make a risky attempt to extract the tanker. Some workers may die. Plus 50,000 oil stockpile. Cost the five Frostland team. Or send mountaineers. Men with special training equipment will be able to extract the oil safely. Why wouldn't I take option two? 50,000, five Frostland teams. 50,000, five Frostland teams. Why wouldn't I take option two? I'm a jerk. Maybe you have to research something before that second option is available, and we just happen to have researched it already. That may be the case. Please dispatch gift boxes to the steward by post to avoid unnecessary queuing. That's what I was thinking. Option 2 has a tech gate, and not everyone is cleared yet. Yeah, the Frostlane Q building or the other law I passed, I think, that made our people stronger. And Frostlane's team. We need 20. Again, people are currently busy, I think, doing things. Um, oh yeah, we've got these various expeditions. If we've got 20, we can explore one of these dangerous areas. Still waiting on the workforce. Oh yeah, and then we could do the building. Once the workforce comes in, I should transform people, I think. Because then we can also... I don't have an oil extractor building. That... Okay, well, actually, we have some research available. Because those were locked before. If we go to resource... Wait, heating. Oh, do I have a promise? Oh, I promised the coal liquefiers. Yes. The carrion coal one. So we will research a carrying coal thing, because we promised that. But we can probably get oil extraction boosts over here. Oh yeah, the stockpile here might be full as well. Yeah, it's a good point. Now the hubs do take some material, or some workforce. Oh, and some workforce did just arrive. There we go, although that could free some workforce from that place. I wonder, is there a better spot for it? I know, there's really limited amounts. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get more stockpile. We're probably going to start consuming more here. As we send more people, we might need a little bit more housing, right? As you can see. Uh, I think I'll just build a second actual housing district here. Yeah. 
we are using maybe an overload of the shelter, but I don't think we can climb up the cliffs here like we've done at other places, so we'll just do that. That's fine. Yes, yeah, so we can turn material into coal, then we can turn coal into other things. Can I build the ma No, there's no little highlight. Like, it's it's showing as available, but it's not actually. The vote. Oh! This triggered the vote automatically! Oh! They proposed their own vote! Unlocks things. Active workers. I know, this this seems okay. New Londoners. Or, and we have to we have to wrap up the stream in a sec here. Um, fraction pump jack for more oil, oil output. I mean, this is obviously going to be a choice, but I might be in favor of it. Build deep melting drill. Oh, I do want this, probably. Uh, oh, this is research building. Research. Okay, so it's all research building. This unlocks access to deep deposits, which are virtually unlimited. Well, clearly, I want this. Yeah, clearly. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll have to go and do the work as well. The vote will probably trigger on its own, but we'll trigger it now. There it is. Hear ye, hear ye. Right, you don't have to pass it to fulfill your promise. So was this, oh, was this vote a promise I'd made? That might be the case. And then it triggered on its own? Okay, right, you're building the housing. Now you have negative food, which we could send from the other place. I think the other thing we're gonna look at doing here. Oh wait, interesting. Oh, because I've already dug there, yeah. Because we need to be able to access more of the oil. I may as well dig up like these prefabs too. I mean, we're not gonna reach, but that's okay. Yeah, we got an ad break. I gotta stop the stream. We're ten minutes over. Um, the extra stream yesterday um, has uh, and and some other things I was doing I've really like messed with my throat here, so I should not go over time too much. Next live stream scheduled for Saturday. We'll have to make a decision as to what we're playing on Saturday. Rimworld, which we were doing on Saturdays, versus Frostpunk Two, versus something completely random, which is always a possibility. Uh, we will um, we'll probably talk about it on the Discord. As we get close to the day. We'll see. Yeah, good thing you picked up more throw coat tea. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here, folks. Thanks a lot for watching another episode. We're gonna go raid a Kiss for Lux channel question mark. Where no, never mind, we're not gonna do that. Where no. they're hosting me. We're just gonna call it quits over here. Thanks for watching. Uh there's an astronauts episode that went live on the channel earlier. And uh I recorded some more this morning, which is one of the reasons my throat is a little scratchy. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye, everyone.